there. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this specific training, I want to give you a quick little overview of the webhook options that are available in your phone burner account today. For those of you who are watching this video and asking yourself, well, what is a webhook and why should I care? Let me go ahead and just address that really quick. Obviously not super detailed. You see a webhook is a way for one system to communicate to another system. However, rather than one system constantly asking another system, hey, has something changed over here? Hey, did something change over here? The webhook option allows you to define when one system should reach out to another system and say, hey, this just changed or this just happened. It's a much more efficient way of having systems talk to each other. But how can you take advantage of it? You see, when you're logged into PhoneBurner in the upper right hand corner, if you click on your initials or if you've updated it, it might be a picture up there. Go down to the integration settings. In the integration settings over on the left hand side, you're going to see the webhook options. Go ahead and click on the first one, webhooks. In here, you'll see several webhook options. This is where you can go to define the URL of a specific system that you would like us to notify in specific events. For example, if you're making calls using phone burner, and at the beginning of every one of those calls, you would like to communicate to another system that that call is starting, you can take advantage of the call begin webhook. Or maybe you want to send call outcomes to an external system. That's the call end webhook. PhoneBurner will then send the contact details and call results to whatever URL you put in here. Now, for some of you, you may want to define specific call end webhooks for specific dispositions. That's when you might want to take into account disposition specific webhooks. And those are going to be updated on the dispositions themselves. You also have the option to trigger a webhook when somebody unsubscribes from an email or opts out from one of your SMS text messages. And then the last option that we currently have available is the ability to manually trigger a webhook from the contact details. And of course, we plan on adding additional options over time. So if you're watching this video and there's new options here that are not on this overview, no worries. Just go ahead and take advantage of it. All you have to do is decide which of these events should trigger information to be sent from PhoneBurner to an external system. And if you'd like to see an example of what PhoneBurner would typically send for any one of these webhook options, you can click on the example payload button here. And from here, you'd be able to get an idea of the type of information that PhoneBurner would be sending to this external system. If you're working with a developer to help you put this together, this is something that you probably want to copy and paste and send to them so that they know what to expect when they're building out the webhook URL for you and they know how to parse that information out so it can update the information on the external system. However, as we go through this training, I'm going to be taking advantage of a tool called Zapier to illustrate how the information flows from phone burner to an external system. However, you don't have to use Zapier yourself. You can use any tool that allows you to generate a webhook URL and parse that information out, or you can work with a custom developer to have them build out an endpoint or webhook URL on your own system that you can have that information sent to. So that's it for our overview here. Make sure you watch the rest of the videos where I'm going to walk you through each of these options so that you can take full advantage of this feature in the system. Thanks again and happy dialing.